Hello everyone and thanks for watching. In this channel you can find tech, gadget and app reviews as well as editing tutorials just like the one I'm doing today. If you like my content please consider subscribing as it would really help me a lot. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple system that allows you to record simultaneously a top-down and a headshot with very little gear and quite suitable for small spaces using Elgato gear. No, I'm not sponsored by Elgato in any way and I bought all this gear with my own money. I'm going to tell you what is great and what is not so great about this setup and I'm even going to suggest you a simple and cheap solution for one of the problems that I found out. Ok, let's jump right into it. So to set this up, the base of it is the master mount. They come in two sizes, large and small, each one with a ball head, one quarter of an inch screw and a padded clamp. I got a large one and it cost me 50 euros. When fully extended, it reaches a max height of 125 cm or 49 inches. The minimum height is 55 cm or 22 inches. You can use it clamped to a desk using the provide desk clamp or place it on the floor. Although for that, you do have to get a heavy base that Elgato also sells for 40 euros. Build quality is just ok. It's made of steel and hard composite. You can use this arm to set an Elgato key light or place a camera, iPhone or even an iPad on the top of it. Here, however, I'll use it to set the rest of the gear. Along with the master mount, I got the solid arm. I'll be using this to place the camera that will take the headshot. It clamps to the master mount at any point that you wish. Being 26 cm long, you can choose to place it to the side or point it directly to you. Elgato sells it for 40 euros. For the top down shot, I got the multi mount flex arm kit. Once again, there are two sizes available large and small. The one that I use is the large one. In the box, you find four poles two large ones with 24 and 17 cm, and two smaller ones with 8 cm. This combination will allow you to combine different setting positions and reach longer or smaller areas. For that, you just have to add or subtract sections at your wish. In theory, the flex arm allows you to get any kind of shot that you wish, top down, side down or even over the shoulder. Ok, for the top down and the head shot, this is how I set the things up. For the top down shot, I use either my Sony ZV-1 camera or my iPhone. For the head shot, I use my Sony A6600. Now, there are a few problems with this gear. Although on the website Elgato tries to make it look like the setup handles cameras in any position, that's not quite right. For example, if I try to use the Sony A6600 or anything heavier to take the top down shot, the flex arm won't handle the weight. Also, I can tight as hard as I can the 1 quarter inch screw, but the connecting bolt joints will start to swivel. Also, the 1 quarter inch screw could be a bit bigger to better support the camera. There are a few ways around some of these problems and some tricks. For example, when using the flex arm, I advise you to set this part pointing up so you can handle the weight of the camera. To avoid the swivel of the camera or the tilt down of the arm because of the weight of the camera, you can always get this aluminum modular arm made by a company called Techform. Once again, this company does not sponsor this video. It costs 17 euros and with it, because of the way both arms connect, it gives a much solid connection. So there you go. Elgato offers an interesting solution for getting a nice setup for your streaming or filming your YouTube videos when you want to get both a top down and a headshot. It's not perfect, but it's quite alright. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.